Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? I trust that you guys are okay, everyone is well. Today I just want to talk about, you know, dishonesty, falsehood. Have you ever bought something and you realize that what you ordered for or what you paid for is not what you got? Have you ever paid for something online and you realize by the time it was shipped down to, um, to you, you realize that this is not what I ordered or it's not this quality and um, you try to reach them, probably they don't want to speak with you or you can't reach them again or some form of argument and all that and you leave, the, you leave them, you are like disgruntled and all that and you're asking yourself, why are people dishonest in life? But that's the sad reality. There's a lot of deception in business, dishonesty in business, lack of integrity in business. But what I want to tell people is that you see that this, everything you sow in life, um, you reap. If you sow the wind, you get the whirlwind. It will come back somewhere along the line. I think it's the Holy Book that said, don't be mocked. Um, don't be, you know, anything, what you sow, you reap. Don't, don't think that certain things will not come back to you because um, you are smart. There's something that happens here in my country and in my local parlors, they call it dulling. What it means that don't be dull. Don't be dull could mean um, be street smart, uh, be street wise. Um, that is, that's the advice on the surface. It, it, um, that's the advice they're giving you. But really what it means is that be smart in manipulating, in, uh, in duping people, in cheating people out of their rights, out of, you know, be dulling. It's like um, trying to tell someone be smart in, in defrauding another person. That's, that's what it means. And, and most young people now take it into business. And you're, you're in business and looking at how you, you can rip a client off. No. You know why? Business is sustained over a long period of time. Business is sustained through what they call repeated orders. Orders. Repeated order or repeated orders from your client and customers. Customers is what... Customers are the people that sustain a business over time. And just like in friendship, it takes a while for you to be close to people, to someone, and you begin to trust them. Because trust is in, trust is in faces. You begin to trust them and you, know, and you begin to confine more in them and you begin to let your guard down when it has to do with them. The same thing with business. And, and you can build a business for 10 years, have a good clientele, just one bad decision can wreck that business. So we have to be careful. Um, just one smart move, smart move in quotes, can end your reputation. Reputation is like per perception, is everything in business. Is everything, perception is everything in the corporate world. Perception, how people see you, how people see your business, how people perceive you as a person, how people, the experience people get from interacting with you is very important. And these things are not to be taken lightly, please. They are not to be taken lightly. Because, because yeah, I, I've been frustrated. I bought a book um, from one of these relatively big um, e-commerce platforms. I didn't get the book. It was supposed to be shipped down to me here in Nigeria. I didn't get the book. I didn't even get an email to say, sorry, um, we couldn't get, you know, I didn't get anything. I wasn't happy about that. Um, so, obviously, if I see someone going to that network, I want to tell them my experience of going to that platform. I'm going to tell them my, my, my experience. A lady here, she, she, had, she, she had this 
uh, wonderful cuisine. She had a restaurant. She had a lot of wonderful menu. And you know, her food was good. And for the first three months, uh, when you come there, they serve you like a king, like a queen. You want to go back. But after like six months, uh, when they feel that they've built that clientele, they're not so nice anymore. You call them, they tell you, wait. And if you call them again, they'll probably say something you won't like. That, look, I'm busy. Can't you see that I'm, I'm busy? If you can't stay, then leave. Oh, so the... the the waiters and the waitresses have, have actually told people to, to leave if they can wait. And gradually, the word, that word started going around. Within the next three months, that place was dry. Nobody was going. You might think, you might think that, that, oh, is it not just one person I had an altercation with? That one person knows can other people that it can tell about your that they can tell about your establishment and those 10 people if they tell 10 others that is 10 times 10 that is a hundred people and if that those hundred people tell another 10 people we are talking it's just it's just going from a thousand to ten thousand and you're in a city how big is a city really the people can, that can afford coming to your restaurant, they are not, they know themselves. They are usually people from the workplace, uh, from the marketplace, from the corporate world. And once the word goes out, within three months, I'm telling you, it's gone round. And you say, oh, I just had an issue with one person. Okay, I just, I just made us a, a delivery that was faulty or I just made a wrong delivery and you did not rectify it. Just that small thing can cost you a lot. It can cost you your reputation. Like I said, reputation and reputation is like perception. In the marketplace, you don't, nobody gives you a second chance to make an impression. So perception is everything you need to get it right. You need to get a reputation too, it matters. You know, but people try to be funny. I think it's um, Bob Marley said, you can fool people sometimes, but you can fool all the people all the time. And that's true. I have a bad, bad um, experience from you and what you're offering. And you don't make, and you don't make effort to make amends. You know what's going to happen? You have just let, left it open for, for, for your reputation to be rubbished. For your reputation to be rubbished. And, and people, customers will begin to dwindle and you'll be wondering why. You will call it the economy. No, it's just simple business um, customer care. Customer care. This is for people. I'm talking about people that um, it's they don't. It's not like they set out to to do something bad, but something happens along the way. I advise you make amend. Then for the fraudulent ones, let me speak to you. Dishonesty is what. Dishonesty is what. Creating false persona of what you are not a false persona oh i can deliver i can deliver on deadline uh, or, or i can do this i can do that i have high quality at the end of the day you have no intentions of delivering at that level and it, it, what what you're doing is what you're doing is that people after a while people have um, a hard time trusting you they will have a hard time trusting and believing in what you say and you see that you begin to struggle after a while you know when you are a fraudulent person you are trying to live a double life at home with your family you are with your wife and kids you try 
to even tell your kids and bring them up morally. But in business, you're doing the opposite. You're living a double life. And that can increase your anxiety, can increase pressure. Because when customers call, you have your you are panicking, you don't know what they are saying, and because you know that, oh, that the, the call will not be a good one. I have I have heard about a fellow, and this is his own this is his own strategy. I dupe you of 50 million naira. I will keep 20 million for court case and I will use 30 million naira uh, for myself. And let me tell you, there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people walking the streets around the world that, that have this mentality. I dupe you 50 million. I use 20 million to prepare lawyers. Then I take the other 30 million and, and, and they... They do that. That is falsehood. That's, that's lack of integrity, dishonesty. It comes back to bite you. It will come back. It adds pressure on you. It adds pressure on you. It adds pressure on you. And this pressure can lead to, you know, psychological problems and issues. You are living a double life. I know of a man many years ago, um, I think this was in a place called Dolphin Estate in Lagos. I just had, he lives abroad and also, you know, he stays like six months abroad, stays three months here, you know, and he does business. He said he's a um, universal business person. Okay, that's what you said. And one day he was driving, you know, into his, his house. Everybody knows him as a great business person, ah, as, a, as a great entrepreneur. He prides himself in that. But he has a dark side of him that people don't know. He's always evading, he's not talking to people, he's not staying in one place at the same time. Uh, uh, he do, he do, sorry, he doesn't stay in one place for long, he just keeps moving from one place to the other. He was driving into his compound, into his... His, his, his house and some other fellow was driving behind him entering into the building as well it's a standalone building and the guy got off jumped out of his car flew over the fence and was running and it was just a friend that saw him and was just following him and he was like the friend was like why are you running you know, and he said, oh, it's some, some deals that, that went wrong, you know, I, one has to be careful. This is the lifestyle of a fraudster. This is the life, and to this guy, he doesn't think he's a fraudster. He just feels his business. He just feels, I'm not darling, I'm, I, I, I'm just smart. You have to be street smart to survive in this world. I agree, but that is the, that, that's the soft on, soft on the surface. But not to be street smart to be defrauding people. Because that is the kind of lifestyle you are going to live. Running from one country to the other, you are never at peace. And you know what that happens? It puts a strain on your body. The first thing that will happen to you is you are going to have high blood pressure. And we all know that high blood pressure begins to affect other organs of the body. You are aging faster than you are aging fast and you are having health issues because of the lifestyle you choose to live. And your reputation is damaged. Your health is damaged. And let me tell you, before you know it, gradually people are going to know you for who you are. The customers will dwindle and everything you have built will just disappear before you. It might take you 20 years to build a business and a clientele, but it might just take one wrong move and all that empire you have built will just come crashing down. Just because of dishonesty. Just because, let's just play a fast one on this guy. Let us just play a fast one. Oh, the economy is not good. Let us just try. Just one 
bit, one act can wreck you. I also know of someone that, um, honest person, but had pressure and, and just decided to do something and that thing ended up um, wrecking his company. If you're honest, be honest, no matter the circumstances, no matter the situation, just be honest. It pays back. Honesty might take a while to build, but honesty pays at the end of the day. Integrity is a big sacrifice. People will even defraud you when you are working in integrity because they think that you are a fool. But let me tell you, integrity pays. I can give you that for free. Starting out in life, I live by certain principles. How I deal with people around me, my staff and my customers, my clients and everything. But people look at you when you do things with a human face. They feel that it's weakness. And they want to dupe you. Yes, I have been duped. I have a lot of people owing me. I have some people, not a lot of people, some people owing me. And they feel, oh, okay, this one is a nice person. He will not. You might suffer for a while. Ten years or more if you choose to walk in integrity. But let me tell you, the benefit outweighs that. Today I, today, I am enjoying that decision that I made. People are scared of losing their money, so they will come to you. People are scared of transacting with other people, so they come to you. And before you know it, you are the, you are the beautiful bride. You are the beautiful bride, and everybody wants to deal with you. Everybody wants to transact with you. And you know what? Your money is not rolling in. So I would just want to advise young people, please, take time out and build that. Take time out and build that business. Live your life based on, live your life based on integrity. Be mindful always of your reputation. And you know what? You will last long. Like I said before, business, surviving in a business is Repeated orders. Orders from clients. Value your clients, respect your clients, and they will respect you back with more orders. That's how it works. And you are building what it means that you are now building. That is how you build that empire. You build empire with customers and clients. So I want to leave you with this. Don't go with the way of the world and say, okay, I want to do this. Integrity pays. That's what I'm saying. Honesty pays. Thank you guys for listening to me. I'll, I know I'll be back shortly with something else. You guys have a great day. And I just want you to follow um, this link to my YouTube channel. Um, to my YouTube channel, you get more information there. I also have a network in on Facebook, uh, on a Chip uh, Marketplace Network. Um, the link will also be there and also join and so that you can get a lot of my teachings. You guys take care, take care and remain blessed.